Hello and welcome to my C tutorial. I'm going to show you how to install the compiler and the text editor right now. And I'm going to show you a small, simple program, which you've probably seen a dozen times. So, this is the compiler we'll be using, or well, not really the compile, but this has the compiler on it. I want to get click on this. And then down here you'll see the installation thing. Okay, now I'm gonna I already have this thing installed, so just click next a bunch of times. Okay, and here we're seeing the download sites, the mirrors. So, this bit X mission, I like them. They're pretty fast. Okay, we're back. And now we need to pick up what we want to install. So go to DVL, scroll down, and find the GCC Core C compiler right here. I'm going to click so that it down downloads that right here. I already have it installed, so I can't do that. So then click next, but this is as far as I'm going to show you, because it's all just click next from here. Okay, next is the text editor, note, add, plus, plus. So click download. Download the current version, and you'll have it. Okay, now we want to actually start programming. Just get a quick file, open, and install. Now I'm going to show you how to just make the basic Hello World program. You've probably seen five tutorials by now, because I doubt mine's the highest ranked. So this is the basic pound include standard io.h standard io.h, this is the header file. A header file contains multiple functions which we are going to be using to actually write the program. Without this, all we could write is something about... yeah. This is about as much as we'd be able to write if we didn't have an include. These three little lines. Or at least that, this is about as much meaningful work as we could do. So because I have the standard I.O. library, I have access to this. And this is our program. It's completed. Now I'll start explaining things. This is the na this is the main function. A function basically has this format: the name, the parameter listing, which is empty in our case, the body of the function, the return type. And because the return type is an int, we have to we don't have a choice. We have to specify 
return 0. We could also write return 1, return this. Actually, that's probably too big. But you get my point. We can return an integer. An integer number. I know what this printf is going to be doing. Printf takes a string argument. This is a string. It's a bunch of text surrounded by two quote two double quotes. And this function is going to output it to the to the console. So now we go into the C Sigwin folder. Actually first we need to did we save? No we did not. I need to save this inside of Sigwin home owner. Name it something. And save it as a C source file. Okay, the program is saved. Now we start up Sigwin, this thing right here. And then we got we can find our program right here. This is what we wrote. This is the folder which Sigwin looks in, so we have to use this one. Now we type GCC, which is the name of the compiler, minus dub, capital W, lowercase all, minus O, app. Minus O means I'm specifying the name of the program. Basically, I, I could make this anything right now. The name but I'm making it app. And then my source files. star.c. I could also do test.c because there's only one C file. But we do star just in case there's like five C files and we want to compile them all at once. So I hit enter and I have a warning. So I fucked up. I need to put a new line at the end of my stuff. I don't have to do that because it's a warning, but it's good practice to list to fix warnings before you can before you run your program. Sometimes it'll actually screw up your program. Now I'm going to run the program. Notice I typed in dot slash before the name of my program. No matter what I named it as, I have to do dot slash. And we have hello world, which is exactly what I said would happen. Print F outputted hello world to the console, and then we exited the program. And that is the simple Hello World program. I'll show you another tutorial another time. Next time I'll just elaborate on printf a little bit and add in some variables.